Last night I got stoned, <laughs> and I watched two documentaries that were on HBO about Cuba. Okay. Nice. And the first one was just talking about the economics in Cuba. And these people saying, listen, all this shit that you're saying is great, but where's the paper? We're nobody. Yeah. We have no expectations. We have no, like, future. We do the same shit every day with no light at the end of the tunnel. That's right. the word. No, yeah, no light at the end of the fucking tunnel, you know? And that's how I felt at times when I was 22, 23. When you realize, okay, so I went to high school. I did what they told me. I went to college. I made a little pit stop in prison. Now what? Now what? Yeah. So what you're telling me is whatever job I choose at 27 years old, I'm doing this till I'm 65 to get a fucking watch. Right. That's That fucking threw me into a four-day, like, then I'm, whatever I'm going to do, I better fucking be in love with it. Yeah. I better not do it for the money. That was a complete different lesson now. Now it's not even about the money. I got to do something that I fucking like. You know, I, I liked what I was doing. I liked what I was trying to be. Right. But taking a train with a brown bag every day and you got to pay for dry cleaning, that's not my bag. <laughs> <laughs> that's never been my bag. A little brown bag, and at the end of the week, you got to pay an extra 90 for dry cleaning and, and, and fucking take a train every morning. And this is it. This is it till those two weeks you get off every year. Right. This is it. I couldn't handle that. That's why I said, fuck it. I might as well do this shit. Is that when you started being a stand-up? When you were 27? No, I think I got on stage the first time. Yeah. I got on stage when I was 27. I was. I knew their marriage wasn't working. I was failing at... I just was, wasn't was failing at life. Like, I, I had a job. And I, I was making good money. But that was it. Right. That was it. The crushing weight. I was 20 years old, 27 years old. I had, I finally gave up and went to work for my in-laws on the roof. And after six months, I couldn't see me just roofing. Yeah. So I played the estimating game, and I just wrote to the companies, and they had estimating clinics. So I would fly myself, or, and I learned how to estimate. Uh-huh. You know, I said, I'm not going to fucking be 40 on these roofs. With stories, I remember one time we did yeah, ninety yeah, yeah. yards, and the tar was hot. That ain't that ain't me. Yeah. It's like when you get locked up, you meet people and they brag to you about yeah. their prison resume. Yeah. And people go, "You oh, you got to get arrested in Kansas, so you got to get arrested in Connecticut, <laughs> the jail there." And the guy will go, "You know what? I got a sister in Connecticut. That's not a bad idea." Like it's like they they're proud of their right. resume. It's the same thing with these roofers, which was a great... I loved it. I, I was in great shape. You're getting vitamin D. <laughs> I was in Colorado. You know, it's it's not humid, so right. it was great. But the cold, hard reality at 27 years old is this is what I'm fucking doing the rest of my life. So I tried the estimating, and I was pretty good at that, and I was hustling on the weekends. Uh, I was a commercial estimator, which was buildings. But on the weekends, I would go into these little neighborhoods that had hail damage, and I'd work them to death. And I get a house on Saturday right. and a house on Sunday. And again, I'm like, okay, so the bank account is straight. This is straight. But there hasn't been a day off in 20 fucking days. Yeah. That's not life either. So I didn't, I got into this not really because of economic relief. I got into this knowing I was going to be broke. I got into this because at least I wanted to like what I did. Yeah. There was nothing I liked, let's face it. You know, I, I love cooking. I don't like fucking cooking. <laughs> I like cooking a hamburger for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Salt and pepper, a bun, ketchup, you cut up an onion. That's it. I'm good. But if you think I want to cook a thousand fucking hamburgers, chef, fuck you, yeah. chef. You know, there's nothing I like, Greg. Construction was great for three weeks. Yeah, I was surprised you said six months. I'm like, I don't think I can. <laughs> what the fuck are you giggling about? No. <laughs> I knew a second ago, but no. <laughs> keep, just keep going went from where you told it. Cause then okay. <laughs> you know that little forehead you got? <laughs>